Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to yet another transfer video. I always tell you guys when it comes to the transfer window, always expect a bunch of transfer videos, a bunch of transfer news, transfer rumors, all of them probably concerning Arsenal. We're always a team that is linked with every single player, whether they're on a free, whether they're on a loan deal, whether it's 100 million pounds, whether they're coming from France, Brazil, South Africa, it doesn't matter. We are always linked to all those players. But this time round, just like William, I feel like this player is about to join. He might join in the next one week or something. And his name is Gabriel Dos Santos, and I'm not going to bother mentioning his last name. It's M-A-G-A-L-H-A-E-S. It's in the description and in the title. I'm not going to bother mentioning that name until he comes to Arsenal and until we know the correct way of mentioning the name. Uh, he's a defender who plays for Lille. Of course, we know we need a defender. We've been talking about defenders for the last 10 years and we really need to improve that uh, position. Of course, he's not Upamecano, he's not Koulibal, he's not Axel Disassi, the defenders we kind of wanted or we've wanted for a couple of years, but... As long as it's uh, once such kind of a player is going to do the job for us, as long as he has the mentality, the capability of doing the job for us, well, I don't mind. As long as we get some defenders, some fresh blood in our defense, that's what we need. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at what teams Gabriel has played for, his strengths, what he can bring to Arsenal, and of course, how Arsenal could line up with him in the team. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So Gabriel is yet another young player we, we expected to sign. Uh, we signed Martinelli, um, we signed Guendouzi, Torero is a bit young. Of course, we already had the likes of Willock, Nelson, Smith Rowe is going to come back and get it in the team. Tien is, a, is young, Bellerin is still young, so we have a lot of young players in our team. Um, of course, I hope you're going to sign some experience, but Gabriel is yet another young player. He was born now on 19th December of 1997. Um, he's about to turn, uh, this year he turns 23 this year, so very, very quite young. And uh, the defenders that have already come to Arsenal, the likes of Pablo Mari and Saliba, they're also both young, so it looks like we're going to go very, very young next season. Uh, the teams he has played for in 2016, 2017, he played for Avai in uh, the Brazilian league. And then in 2017, he joined uh, um, or Lille's B team. And then he, he made he has made uh, 39 appearances for Lille. He's also been on loan uh, at Troyes. He's been on loan at Dinamo Zagreb. And uh, he's made a few appearances for Brazil's under-20 team. So he's not yet uh, a proven or, yeah, like a day-to-day -day international, not yet. I hope you make him that. He's a ball-playing left-sided centre-back. Um, I was quite surprised to see that because um, we already signed Pablo Murray, but he's currently injured. So I'm assuming Atita wants one player to start and then another to be a backup, not having to bring a right-footed uh, defender from the bench to play on the left side. So that makes sense. He plays very good football. He can drive forward with the ball just like the way um, Luis does at times. Um, he can pass the ball, he has very good feet, and uh, he's tall, he's six foot, um, three inches. And then this season he put up some, or last season he put up some very good performances against Valencia, Chelsea, Ajax in the Champions League. He, lo he looks very comfortable in the ball, that's what I'm going to say. Like, um, kind of like Pablo Mari, although we haven't seen the uh, much of Pablo Mari. And um, that's, that really makes it interesting what formation I is going to play next season, because right now we have a lot of centre-backs. Saliba is in the team, Pablo Mar is in the team, um, Socrates is in the team, Luis, Mustafi, Holding, Chambers is still in the team, Mavropanos is out on loan, and then you add Gabriel, that's about eight centre-backs. Tierney has played as a centre-back this season, so that's a lot of centre-backs. So I'm guessing at least two of these centre-backs have to leave. Probably um, Chambers is probably going to leave, I'm afraid, and... Uh, Maybe Socrates, because since the lockdown, you only play, played like five minutes in two games. So I don't think Atta uh, really likes him. So I think he's going to leave. But the ones who are going to remain, Luis signed a contract. And then the other positions, right back, center back, the Cedrics of this world, all signed contracts. So it's going to be really interesting to see what formation you're going to play. Um, will we stick with the back three? Uh, of course, we've been playing a back three this season mainly because we don't have the players to play a back four. That's what we think. Oh, that's what we know because we know we don't have that uh, 
solid solidity to play a back four so he's been forced to play a back three because of the defenders we have or we've had so if he brings on the defenders he likes or buys the defenders he likes what formation are we to, going to go for back three back four is he going to switch up the formation we are going he's going to have a headache next season with the goalkeepers and the defenders who do you play who don't you play so it's going to be very interesting so that is the main topic for today. So without further ado, let me just get into how Arsenal could line up with Gabriel in the team. So assuming Pablo Mari is fit for the start of the season and uh, Saliba is ready to go for the new season, who are we going to play? Let me take a look at the 4-2-3-1 first. Of course, I'm not going to talk about the left back and right back, but I'm expecting it to be probably Tierney and Bellerin and then the center back position, Saliba and Gabriel. Are we really going to play Saliba and Gabriel? For me, I don't think that could work because Saliba is new. He's young. He's never played in England before. Gabriel is new. Young, never played in England before. Will they be able to go from the start with the, with the likes of Kane and uh, the likes of Glenn Murray at Brighton, those physical strikers? Will they ready, be ready to go against them? I don't really think so. So for me, that back two with those two, I don't think they're ready to go unless uh, we try that in the middle of the season or the next season after that. Let's remember a team like Leicester when they bought Soyonchu. He never really played the first season. He was just uh, playing as a sub or stuff like that. And then after Maguire left, he started playing the main the, the, as the main centre-back. So could we see Atita doing that to Pablo Mario, to Gabriel or to Saliba? We never know. But for me, I, we need defenders right now, so I need them to start. So for me, that formation, I'm not really keen on that. Um, so le- another formation we could play, we could have um, 3-4-2-1. We could have Gabriel, Pablo Mari, and Saliba. Pablo Mari on the left-sided um, centre-back, Gabriel in the middle, and Saliba on the right. That could be a bit solid because you're having three defenders, three young defenders ready to go. Or you could have Luis in there. A couple of months ago, I did a video talking about why Arsenal need to keep Luis. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. And one of the reasons was because we are going to sign young defenders and they need some experience around them. How many of you would want to have Gabriel and Saliba starting as the defenders in the team right from the goal, right from the first game? Not sure, not not really sure. So it needs some experience in there. And uh, for me, I think I'd prefer Luis ahead of the likes of Socrates and Holding. So it will be very interesting to see what formation it goes for. Is it a 4-2-3-1 with a TNE, Bellerin, Saliba and Gabriel? Or is it a 3-4-2-1 with Gabriel, Mari, Saliba, TNE? and Bellerin. Remember, even if you add Tierney and Bellerin, they're still both young, so it's not that much of, a, of an experienced backline. Looking at a team like um, back then when Chelsea had John Terry and uh, Cavalli and the Paulo Ferreras of this world, or when United had Ferdinand and uh, Vidic, you need some experience there. So, one thing I like about Gabriel is that he can play some football, he can pass the ball around, so that makes you a bit uh, calm when we have the ball at the back, not like when you have Martinez having the ball, passing it to Socrates, and all of a sudden we can't breathe when Kolasinac has the ball. We don't want that next season. We want Ateta to sign the players who are going to fit his um, tactics and his ideas for next season. So is it going to be a 4 2 3 one I don't know. Is it going to be a 3 4 2 one I don't know. So if we have all these defenders, will we really add another defender again? I hope so. For me, I hope so. I'm hoping we get rid of at least two or three of those defenders and then get like two more. So Gabriel is one of them and then we get another one. Maybe an experienced one this time. So it will be very interesting to see how we line up. But for me, you can't line up with like Gabriel and Saliba because they're both young and both new to the Premier League. So yeah, that that is uh, how Arsenal could line line up with Gabriel. He could be joining Arsenal very soon. Same with William. I've also done a video for William or what William would bring to Arsenal. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. If you want to check out the series I've done talking about what Mikel Atta will do next season and how he could improve Arsenal for next season, I'll link it up in the YouTube card too. And in the description, many videos will be updated, more transfer videos. Let's hope we have a very, very good transfer window. And we actually do sign some defenders, not just Gabriel, because I've been hearing Arsenal being linked with so many forward players but we still need defenders. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Uh, are you happy about Gabriel? Would you get any other defenders? Um, would you play a back four or a back three? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching again. Keep staying safe, and I'll talk to you later.